before the weekends, I take the watering can and I try to fill up all of my gardens to last over the weekends. These three lettuce plants uh, do not take up much water in comparison to some of the other plants. Tomatoes seem to be uh, intermediate in terms of their water needs. Cauliflower is an extremely heavy drinker. Dwarf peppers seem to go fairly well on a reservoir full of water and seem to only have needs for maybe one or two refills per week. Should you plant your lettuce uh, densely, it will require a lot of water as well. And what you see here is a recirculating uh, black magic, a six plus gallon growing system. I'm currently using the pump that normally uh, pumps out at the base of the plants. There is a reverse switch inside and this extra tube that allows me to drain the system. I've been growing these cucumbers and uh, cloning the uh, tips off and putting in for quite a while so I am pumping out all the nutrients and dumping those and much like you see here with this other cauliflower plant I already have a dolling underneath that and it easily allows me to roll it back and forth for maintenance. Here is a little look inside of the cucumber grow. The reason that the plant on the right hand side has less roots is I tore out a bunch of other cucumber plants and actually pulled some of those off. The cucumber plants are showing some signs of nutrient issues. I can refill this uh, container with fresh nutrients, put the uh, plant dolly underneath like I was talking about, and uh, revive these plants because uh, they sh should be uh, heavy producers and they are the first uh, clone cuttings off a new seed plant. And I have a feeling that I should get uh, several dozen cucumbers off these uh, two vines. And it should be uh, something that uh, will continue to grow for over a year. One other tip is that you can adjust the nutrient so they all coincide. So I could I add feeds to all the gardens on the same day. What I end up doing is on the control panel where it says plant food added, I can go in and put in maybe a partial feed and end up scheduling all these so that the 14 day cycle coincides with all the gardens to do my maintenance on one day out of the week. Most stores carry these watering cans and with two gallons of water inside, it uh, actually allows me to make less trips to refill it up. Other maintenance that you may not see me do on a regular basis is I will take my gardens when they're done with the cycle and I will clean those out. I like to take a uh, scrub brush with some liquid soap and clean those. And after I rinse those out and bring them back, I will fill these uh, gardens up with 100% white vinegar. It uh, cycles through. It helps out in my area because I have a lot of calcium and iron deposits, and that helps to clean that off. So I will probably take these and rinse them off well and dry those off and set them up for another grow. The other maintenance that I do is pruning this uh, particular Genovese basil plant. Normally it would be much larger, but I try to keep my plants uh, pruned so that they are relatively uh, the size that the gardens will maximize their growth and maintain the plants over a long period of time. This is the plant dolly that I was talking about. It's a 12-inch uh, one from Amazon.com. I will uh, try to put the link into this uh, video in the comments. Uh, heavy duty and it uh, will actually hold 300 pounds if necessary, but uh, water with its weight is a little over eight pounds per gallon. And so a sturdy uh, dolly is something that I would like to use. Now that I have the uh, nutrient water pretty much all pumped out of this grow container, I'm going to tip it up. and slide the dolly underneath. And that should allow me to do maintenance. The uh, light that I have above is multiple bar LED, and this will allow me to pull the unit out into the room a little bit more for filling up as well as doing other uh, maintenance. And one of the other tips that I would say is that uh, with uh, cucumbers, 
it's nice when they're forming on the outside where I can get to them, but sometimes when the vines get larger, they tend to hide the cucumbers in different places. And it's nice to be able to uh, slide the grow container out, turn it around a little bit, and look for those, because if you have a cucumber that has grown massive, it will start to rob the plant of the capacity to uh, mature other cucumbers and maybe even lead to a uh, early termination of that vine because plants do better when you keep them picked.